Assalamu alaikum. I have a Dell laptop here that has some issues related to the BIOS. This laptop is refusing to accept the surface tag. The manufacturing mode is active. And if I press any key, I will hear that sound. It is a Dell Latitude 7560 and the surface tag is empty as you can see. Maybe someone was trying to remove the password or he just lost the original BIOS. Anyway, I am just using this device as an example. All I want to show you in this video is the method I use to flash WSON BIOS chips because I see many people making mistakes with these chips. Like they can't read the file successfully. They are using the wrong adapters. Even worse, they may rip the chip pins or the motherboard traces. Before touching anything on the motherboard, you have to make sure the battery is disconnected. This is the BIOS chip. Let's take a closer look on it. It is from Giga device 25R256E. We can get more information about the chip from the datasheet. The chip capacity is 256 megabits or 32 megabytes. The supply voltage is 3.3 .3 volts, so there is no need to use 1.8 volt adapter. This is our chip package, WSON8 8x6. The last important feature is this chip has RBMC function, so you can't replace it with another regular chip. I can't desolder the chip like this because I may burn anything so I will take out the motherboard here is the motherboard number and our BIOS chip it is always better to take a clear image before desoldering the chip also I have to cover the PCH with aluminum tape or a captain tape to prevent heat from damaging the PCH now I have to desolder the BIOS chip from the motherboard then I will solder it on this WSON8 adapter it is good to add some rosin flux. This will help you while soldering or desoldering a chip. I have adjusted the temperature to 450 degrees with the lowest airflow. This process may take one, two or three minutes depending on the motherboard and your tools, especially the hot air station. You have to wait, wait and wait again. Please don't try to remove the chip by force because you may break it or rip the motherboard traces. As you can see, the chip now is moving, so I can try to remove it. Good, the motherboard looks fine and the chip too. I will solder the chip on the adapter. Make sure from the chip orientation, I will lower the temperature because it is a small board. Maybe 400 degrees or less will be enough. Now I will insert the adapter into my SBI programmer. This is how it should be. Let's connect the programmer to my laptop. I will press on detect. As you can see, I only have one option to choose. This chip is different. It has a Q letter instead of R. This one doesn't have RBMC, but I think they share the same chip ID, so I will choose it anyway. Then press on read IC from there. It is done now. It took about 5 minutes. I will press on verify IC to be sure that the file I read is identical to the file that exists on the chip. It took another 5 minutes, but so far so good because now I am like 99% sure about my backup. Let's save the file. You can press Ctrl plus S to save it. I will name the file old.bin. Now I need to open the new file I made. It is ready. Make sure you select these five options. Then press on write IC. It is done. This process may take longer than 10 minutes. I need to solder back the BIOS chip on the motherboard.
Let's remove that aluminum tape and clean the rosin flux. You have to make sure from the soldering and there are no missing components around the chip. Let's see if the device will work or not. Good, it is working. Let's go to BIOS setup and insert our surface tag. Fill the surface tag there. Then press enter key. Choose yes. Then apply changes. The surface tag is written there. Let's try to reboot. I have to press on Alt plus F to exit manufacturing mode. Now the manufacturing mode message is no longer exist and the keyboard is not beeping anymore. Also the laptop accepted the surface tag. I hope you learned something useful from this video. We'll see you soon inshallah in another one. Assalamu alaikum.